Hey everybody, Mike here. You can hear the excitement in my voice. My wife's ESF Sport looks completely different. We have three simple modifications, four if you include the car wash. Um, this is now uh, first lowered on RSR down springs. Very affordable mod, I think it's around 300 something dollars. Uh, install cost can vary depending on your shop. Uh, but it was a simple install. Second, you see those beautiful ADV1 wheels. Uh, this is actually the same fitment as the IS. So I did 20 by nine in the front, 20 by 10 and a half in the rear, running on uh, those new Nitto G2555 tires. These are some of my favorite tires. Uh, they're not new, sorry. I ran them on her GSF Sport before uh, when they first came out and I'm running them on the ES. I think it's a great dry and wet tire and just great for around the town. And of course that Tom's Racing body kit. So that front lip and the side skirt. And I did it in black because um, what I wanted to execute was there was already black on the car, there was already silver on the car. So I kind of wanted to do a mix of both. I didn't want to go all one way with uh, making it too shiny. And I didn't want to go too, too dark and black everything out. Maybe next. Um, but as you can see, what a <laughs> I cannot believe how good this car looks. And again, uh, I've said it in another review, the ES is already a beautiful car. Um, but man, just moving up from the 19s to the 20s, filling them out with uh, the wider ADV1 full spec wheels. These are the ADV 5.0. Um, this is in the stock platinum finish. And you can see it matches that chrome on the windows perfectly. That's the look that I was going for. And, and you see on the exhaust cutout. So I really wanted to put everything together. And then the black on the rear diffuser now matches with the Tom's racing kit. Um, so I think, I think you'll like how this is executed. I'm in love with it. Uh, next, I think I'm gonna tint it. And now that I'm looking at it, I think I'm gonna black out the roof next. And then I think she'll really be ready. Um, so yeah, you can see just how concave that wheel is. Really fills out the wheel well on the ES. Those Nitto NT555 G2 tires. This is Atomic Silver, if you have any questions. This is an Atomic Silver car. And 20 by nine. There's no rub or anything. There's no problems. I literally have tires in the car. I'm straight from the shop. And there's two tires in the trunk too. That's how big the ES is, by the way. Um, and there was not any sounds, no rub, no anything. So if you have ES, give me a buzz. I think what I'm going to do is start some group buys. For one, you can order these wheels directly online at adv1.com. You can actually, you don't even have to speak to anybody. You can go on the website and order those. Uh, the Tom's Racing Kit. Um, oh, and the RSR Springs, you can do the same thing. You go to RSR. Make sure you put my name in the notes at rsr.com. Um, so they know that I referred you um, The Tom's Racing Kit I'm going to talk to Masaki-san My very good friend at Apex They're the official distributor of Tom's Racing And though I do talk to Tom's Racing almost every day Masaki-san is the official distributor So I'm going to work with him I think on a group buy Because I know the ES is a very popular selling car And now I think it's going to be even more popular When people can really see Wow I can clean this thing up um if you have any questions obviously let me know on the wheels um on the on the suspension on on the on the on the car itself this car believe it or not in over a year it only has like well man oh, a year and a half i think we've put fourteen thousand miles so you know uh definitely put some miles on it but not too many miles and uh it's beautiful absolutely stunning i'm gonna shut this down as i'm now rambling uh i hope you enjoy i just the way the sun is just hitting the atomic silver and the wheels and the kit and everything right now. I could just stare at this all day. Thanks everybody for following, uh, subscribe, uh, share my videos if you want. I don't do this for views y'all. I don't do it for anything but to help you all uh, modify your car and learn about Lexus and learn about cars. So um, I don't really show myself too much and I don't put any crazy titles and I don't have any stupid pictures of my face with my wife wild open and all that stuff. I mean, that's cool for, for, for a lot of other people, but for me, that's just not my thing. So uh, <laughs> thanks, everybody. Peace.